Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to write a SQL query to find nth minimum salary of employee. Guys, one of the video I have taught you how to get the uh, basically nth highest salary of the employee, right? Uh, this, uh, this query is very much similar to the uh, that uh, problem, right? So here I am going to again write, first of all, how to write a SQL query to get the nth highest salary of the employee and same query can be easily converted into the how to get the nth minimum salary of the employee right so if you would have remember how we had written a query to get the nth highest salary of the employee we had written something like that using the correlated soft query right so select star from so here i'm just i'm putting a star because i would like to select the entire all columns but if you are interested to select few columns then specify the name of the columns with comma separated yeah select a star from in my case a table name is employee so here i am going to take alias as e1 right select a star from employee e1 and after that we have to specify the where condition and here i am going to write n n can be substituted n can be one two three so if you want to calculate the highest salary then replace n with one then second highest salary and replace n with two something like that so as of right now i'm i'm just writing to writing to get a nth highest salary and then we will convert into the how to get the nth minimum salary yeah so here i'm going to uh, use a correlated uh, subquery so i write select and here i will use function is called count and here i will use distinct keyword distinct and i will use sal nothing but the salary right from again employee let's say alias of this is e2 and after that i'll put a where clause where i will use e2 dot sal greater than equal to e1 dot sal right this is the query basically to get the nth highest salary so here let's say i would like to get the second highest salary so i'll replace n with the two right now so here what i'll do here directly we can replace uh, n with two but here i'm going to use a parameter substitution right so i'll write uh, ampersand n and this ampersand n can be initialized over here by defining define n equals to let's say two that's it now let me format this query by pressing ctrl f7 now here you can of course write uh, e2 dot salary right now if i run this query right so here on the runtime ampersand n is going to replace by this n right so let me write the cap so this will give us the second highest salary from employee table. So this is my employee table. Let me short my salary column. So twice click on this header section. So here I'm going to sort in decreasing order. So second highest salary 3200. So if I run this, so of course you need to select up to here. Now here you can see uh, we get the second highest salary that is nothing but $3,200, right? $3,200 let's say i would like to get the uh to get the first highest salary you have already the max function but still this query is able to get the uh first i mean maximum salary that in 51 already we have seen right 51 now third highest salary then replace in with the three right if i run then third highest salary that's coming 3100 right 3103 highest salary so this is the one of the generic query basically this is not only work for the oracle but some other database also they should work you can run this query on any database right that's the beauty uh, now how to convert this query to get the nth minimum salaries because answer is very simple just you have to whatever condition you have give e2 sal uh, uh, here you have to give the earlier condition was something e2 shall greater than or equal to now you have to do like this just e2 shall less than or equal to e1 dot salary so if you look into this is a correlated sub query right 
correlated subquery. Why this is correlated subquery? Because this inner query is uh, using a reference of outer query, right? So here you can see e1 dot cell. So this is the e1 is nothing alias of outer query. So basically table data gets partition in two different and every row of first partition is going to compare with the second uh, result set and that's how this basically uh, we get the uh, nth highest uh, or nth, uh, a nth uh, highest or nth minimum salary right now let's say i would like to get the third minimum salary right so if i run then third minimum salary so we get the two records so if you look into the data set uh, from bottom right this is uh, this is certain as a descending order so from bottom third highest salary there are two employees having the same salary and that's why result this is returning the uh, two records and this is the expected behavior basically let's say i would like to get the second minimum salary then replace n with 2 and here here is the result second minimum salary 1012 if you go then 1012 right that is nothing but jackie right so, who's uh, uh, basically second minimum salary similarly if you fourth minimum salary then replace n with 4 and if i run then here is the 1200 so there is possibility there are two guys getting 1200 right so that's what two uh, basically uh, result set came in as a output right so guys that's all i wanted to discuss in, th in this video tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial